something and considered extremely dangerous. Tonight, a violent sex offender remains free. 62-year-old George Dudley escaped from the Wyandotte County Courthouse today. Officials haven't seen him since. So what next? Larry Seward is live in KCK to explain. Larry. Mark, jail officials here have three priorities. One is find George Dudley. Two is figure out how in the world this happened. And three, to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now, George Dudley is a patient in the state's sexual predator treatment program. It's designed to change the thoughts and behaviors of sexual predators. But in George Dudley's case, a relative says nothing's changed. According to his cousin, George Dudley hates confrontation, but is very good at getting his way. He can manipulate. He just put, turn on the charm and have everything at work. You know, he's always doing what you thought he, he wanted to do, and the next time he turned around, he'd, he'd, he'd been completely different. Robert Meester lived with Dudley in the 80s in West Palm Beach, Florida. There, Dudley went to prison for child sex crimes. What I knew is, like I told you before, and he liked little boys or had that sexual problem. For similar reasons, Dudley served time in two other states, including Kansas. Four years ago, a judge ordered Dudley to live here at Larnett State Hospital for treatment in the state's sexual predator program. There, state officials say Dudley behaved well, earning privileges, including the right to not wear restraints when traveling to court hearings. Under those conditions, this morning, Dudley and three other Larnett patients showed up at Wyandotte County's courthouse. That's him wearing a striped shirt. Despite the presence of four Larnett staff members, Members and surveillance cameras, Dudley escaped by simply walking away. The details of, of, of how and why he walked away, we're pulling up camera footage, we're taking statements from uh, the uh, Lawrence State Hospital personnel, and we're, uh, we're figuring that out right now. If you ask Dudley's cousin, he believes George's ability to charm those around him led to privileges this convicted sexual offender should not have. As for where Dudley may be tonight, that cousin that we talked to on the phone in Florida doesn't expect him to go there because Judge Dudley owes that cousin $4,000. But again, police are telling people to be aware because at this point, they're not sure where Dudley is. Live in KCK tonight, Larry Seward, NBC Action News.